What's up guys, Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding and we're here for another video feature on a bodybuilder and this one isn't all sunshines and rainbows, it's on Greg Kovacs, the man whose physique melted, the bodybuilders whose physique melted uh, and this dude was a giant, he was the first true 400 plus pound bodybuilder. Uh, he stood, I've, heard diff I've seen different heights when he competed at the 2004 Arnold Classic. It said he was six foot two in his bio. I've seen six foot five and I've seen six foot four. But six foot four seems to be the consensus. And this guy apparently got as high as 420 pounds in his off season, which is insane. Like it is insane. Uh, even at six foot four, it is damn, damn big. And he was a monster. He just never did well on a pro stage. Turned pro in 1996, and you can see the video here. He looks awesome. He, he looks damn good. You know, his legs are a little slight, but he looks damn awesome. Uh, and then as a pro bodybuilder, he competed in the Night of Champions, play 16th, which is generally equal last. Uh, 98, he did the Ironman, play 16th, equal last. Uh, in 2001, Night of Champions, he didn't place. And 2004, which he looked horrendous in, he um, placed 13th in the Arnold Classic, which I assume was last place. Uh, I don't even need to look into that, I don't think. So some of his stats, uh, he had an off-season weight of 420 pounds, contest weight of around 330, which is nuts. Uh, his arms measured, apparently says here 25 inches. I've seen 26. Here it says uh, his arms got up to 27 inches. So somewhere around 26 probably hanging in his off-season. Uh, chest was 70 inches. Uh, and his legs were 35 inches, which is insane. Um, moving on to it. So his physique basically went to crap. So you can see here in 2004, his physique does not look good at the 2004 Arnold Classic. He just, he looks like his physique literally melted. And people would go, how, how can that happen? How can his physique literally melt? Now, I you, you can only speculate. So these are strong speculations, but... The drugs that, you know, bodybuilders use to lean up. And he was lean. Like, he was lean in this contest, but he had a gut. And he just, his muscles, just so many of them just looked, just like, literally look like they melted. Like, there's no other way to say it. And drugs like T3. I've seen people that have used excessive and have admitted to have used excessive amounts of T3, where they've just gone way over the top in their... Um, T3 is basically controls your thyroid. So if you have too much T3, it's gonna make your thyroid go insane. And Luke Wood did this, and Luke Wood sadly has passed now. Uh, and he was taking, I think he said it was 10 or 100 times the dosage, because he mixed the dosage wrong, he mixed the decimal point. And he was taking a huge amount of T3 in another country, went to the US, he said he felt like he's breathing through a straw. And he just, you know, it, it messed up his thyroid. And for, you know, he came down to Tasmania where I was, and did a guest posing and the guy he was working with said he was, you know, smashing donuts, smashing McDonald's and all this sort of stuff. And he was still had shredded glutes and looked ridiculous. So, and he's having to do that just to maintain his body weight. So you do not want to have that sort of issue. Um, and yeah, it, it could have been from that. But Luke Wood still had muscle on his physique. He didn't look his best, but he still had muscle. DNP is another one. Uh, I don't know how popular it was back when Kovacs was competing, but I read online it was used in the 30s in diet pills, DNP, which I had no idea about, but I've, I read that online, so whether it's true or not, I don't know. And um, yeah, so basically DNP works by, it just basically heats your body up and cooks your body. <laughs> Essentially, it's it was uh, in Russia in late 2008, so not that long ago, it's been classed as a toxic poison. So it's a pretty brutal drug it's used in like all sorts of just um like like roundup sort of things and all that sort of stuff basically to kill things so it's a pretty powerful dr drug and it it works on my mitochondria so um i'll read this here dmp acts as a proto ferone or ferone um allowing protons to leak across the inner mitochondrial membrane and thus bypass atp synthase this makes atp energy production less efficient. So I assume you get less, produce less ATP. Uh, in effect, part of the energy that is normally produced from cellular res respiration is wasted as heat. So like it says, basically heats your body up. Um, Greg unfortunately died on November, it says 22nd here. I've also said 25th, 2013. So I'm not sure what date it was. Um, and he had cardiac surgery two weeks before his passing, 
which is um, pretty interesting. I assume it's probably some complication due to that has caused his um, his demise, unfortunately, at only 44 years of age. So far too young. And it seems like a lot of these really heavy pro bodybuilders die young, unfortunately. And it, I think it's just the same as being obese. It puts so much stress on your heart to be that, that big. Uh, moving on, this guy, even though he didn't place well in any pro comps, he was popular. He had a contract with Muscle Tech where I think he got paid quite a lot. I've heard reports where he gets paid a decent, decent salary. And he was getting paid ten thousand dollars US to do guest posings, and he was booked up as well. Like he could do a lot of weekends. When you add that up, you know, if he could even do every second weekend over a year, that's a quarter of a million dollars US, uh, which is pretty insane. In terms of his physique and reason why he didn't do well in pro contests, he had his legs were a little bit slight for his his even though he's four hundred pounds, he was still. His legs were a little slight for his height, like, and it just didn't flow. And his physique just didn't flow in general. And he produced that gut later in his career, which just looked bad, bad, bad. And he had the mentality that he was small when he's 400 pounds. Now, I heard a story, I can't remember if it was from Tony Doherty, Australian pro promoter, um, that he guest posed and he didn't want to come out of a room because he thought he was small. And he was off season, he was 400 pounds, and his wife had to coach him out to get him to actually do the guest posing. So he had this uh, bigorexia, I guess you'd say, where he just thought he was small. And which to us, it would seem crazy, but people have this issue. And he obviously had some some de- mental demons, the fact that he thought he was small at 400 pounds when he's probably the biggest dude on the planet. So that's a bit of a story about Greg Kovacs and the man's who phys- man whose physique melted. What do you guys think? Do you think it was like one of these drugs that he used, like a T3 or a DMP, or do you think it was just something else? Do you think it was old age? I don't think it was old age because he was in his 30s when he competed, like mid-30s. So he died at 44 in 2013. So do the maths. Uh, nine years earlier, he was 35. And he looked old as hell when he did in 2004, Arnold Classic. So whatever he's doing was not healthy for his body. So it's a caution to you guys out there. Uh, be careful with everything you do and do everything in moderation. And maybe just don't even do it at all if, if, you, if you've got this bigger exit issue. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, show me some love. Share this video out and hit that bell button and subscribe. Anyway, guys, that's it for another episode of Desktop Bodybuilding. I'm Xavier Wills and we out.